Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell or ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. I just got done doing all sides. Now, y'all, I sat down to do November's. I took yesterday off so I could, you know, gather my energy and a beat nice and fresh. Going into the monthlies, but as soon as I sat down and started my first reading, it was evident that uh, there's still things that need to wrap up, okay? Uh, go back to the Wrap It Up uh, series of videos I released, if you haven't watched them yet, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, there is... Uh, I, I couldn't get into November's energy, okay? Um, but I want... As I was sitting here, I want you all to look at uh, All Hallows Eve a little different, okay? Halloween, you know, trick or treat, we think going out. Those of us that celebrate it, uh, now in other countries, I'm not quite sure what your philosophy is on that, if you guys even do it. I know here in America, uh, you know, it's Halloween. Kids get dressed up and go trick or treating to get the candy. But I want my grown-ups here, you know, yeah, to look at, all Hallows Eve a little different, you know, if you want to call it the, you know, like the Day of the Dead, uh, when the, the spirits are free to roam, um, and remember, you know, the Catholics have the 1st of November as All Saints Day, so you have Halloween, and then it's backed up with All Saints Day, so, you know, consider it for grown-ups that trick-or-treat Halloween as being like a, a good karmic come-around. Uh, you know, trust, if, if you believe, uh, okay, I'm gonna weed out the ones that need to watch this video right now. If you believe that your loved ones can come down and visit you and, and watch over and protect you, then this is gonna be your reading. If you don't believe in that, you can go ahead and click off. Thanks for showing up. This isn't your reading. I want you to look at it as a, a lot of things wrapping up. A lot of, you know, we talk about ancestors and, and all that beautiful energy. Those of us that do believe, uh, look at it as things balancing out. Because I think uh, Halloween is going to be, the last month of October is going to be that final wrap-up for a lot of negative energies, okay, that need to be released from. And uh, those of you that believe in your ancestors helping and, and those uh, from the other side able to bring assistance down here. It's going to be a hell of a day, okay? Uh, so keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. It's a good way to manifest positive. It's a good way to manifest change. It's all in your belief system. If you don't believe it, you know, feel free to click off. This is for uh, those of my people that believe. What is the message for my collective? What is the message for my collective? What do you have here? A lot of you look at it as a chance to release any negative energies, any negative karma, any negative, any negative attachments. Um, I think it'd be a good day to to release. If there's anything you're wanting to work on, any old habits you're wanting to break, it'd be a good day to start that. Kind of putting an end to that mindset, that stagnation you got going on, and going forward on one 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 November the eleventh. Knowing that, you know, you got positive energy coming down to kind of help uh, eradicate the negative energies that want to stick around. You know what I mean? Just look at it in that way. Nine of Swords here and the Ace of Cups. For some, yeah, that might not be your thought philosophy. Again, if it's not, you can click off. Thanks for showing. But remember, when you're in that energy, uh, are you afraid? A lot, you know... Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Don't fear, right? Don't fear. The angels are near. No boogeymans. No boogeymans. No boogeymans. Because remember, on 111, divine protection comes in. Two of Pentacles in reverse. 
Two of one, ten of wands in reverse. I wanted to say two of wands. And the three of wands. Yes. Releasing any negative attachments, any negative energies, any negativity around. This is going to be a wrap it up time. Eight of cups in reverse. Releasing any stagnation. Uh, pushing forward. Movement forward. With the three of wands. It's time for movement forward. Uh, a lot of you have been waiting on this. And this is just a really good quick way to manifest. You know, any day of the year could be a manifesting day for you. It's whatever you put faith and hope into. You know, everyone likes their birthday because, you know, you're another year older and, and all that good energy. Well, you know what? Let's just think of Halloween as getting rid of all the boogeymen, getting rid of all the, uh, the mask, you know, uh, the mask people wear, you know, mask coming off and things being seen and people being seen and situations being seen for what the fuck they are. So the negative energies can get, you know, uh, released from and know you're protected with 111 All Saints Day. It just removes burdens and stagnation. Stagnation. Thinking of happy days, positive energy, right? Bringing in the positive. You see them white cells coming in, that ship coming in, bringing in the positive. Knowing you got the, the protection of all the saints coming in the day after Halloween. Now, some of y'all may think it's bullshit, but it's kind of a good way to look. I think a nice uh, grown-up way of looking at Halloween. Yeah, releasing any attachments, anything that's negative that doesn't serve your higher good. We got three, three here, three of wands in the upright, three of cups in reverse, and the hermit card. You're not afraid anymore. You're releasing what you need from, and that three of cups is just releasing from toxic people, places, things, thoughts, ideas that don't serve your higher good. Getting rid of any negative uh, feelings, any any negative thoughts, any negative attachments, any any negative self talk, right? Just releasing that, just releasing that. A lot of you, it's going to get out. And, and be in the fresh air trick-or-treating, you know, getting that fresh air in, being out there in the night sky. Hopefully it's clear and you can see some stars. Just releasing it all. Releasing that negativity, knowing that on 111, you're going to have the saints come in. A lot of you, Archangel Michael's a good one to pray to to help you out. All the saints. And I'm not familiar with the saints because I'm not Catholic. But, you know, you got the protection of them. Bullseye, the will of fortune. Manifesting good, manifesting positive. A lot of you figuring out how to put it into to toxic ways of thinking or looking at things or situations or relationships, whatever, whatever stagnation you got going on. Uh, to, to move you forward in a positive energy, in a positive mindset. A lot of you getting you ready for 2022, okay? When you're out there doing your thing, just use it as a chance. You know, call upon your loved ones. If you haven't thought about a loved one, for, for some of you, maybe a loved one's going to pop into your head. Maybe you've been thinking about a loved one. Uh, you know, y'all, I love the idea that my ones that have passed over can come down and pay a visit and watch. But that's a belief. You either have it or you don't. I'm not preaching that. For those of you that don't believe it, thanks for showing up. Looking at things in a different perspective. Getting that will of fortune to turn on your behalf. Luck. Maybe tomorrow's going to be a lucky day for you. Maybe All Hallows Eve is going to be a lucky day for you. Right? Your loved ones wanting to come in and bring blessings. And then it's followed up with 111 All Saints Day. So, the negative can come out and play for a day. Things can kind of, you know, do their thing. And then, bam, you've got the protection of all the saints on November the 1st. Divine protection. Divine energy. Releasing. Releasing from any stagnation. Yeah, judgment, right? As above, so below. Getting you out of any restrictions. Do you hear that playing? Do you know who's playing? Why, it's Gabriel, Gabriel playing, Gabriel, Gabriel saying, 
Will you be ready to go? When I blow my horn. I love that. Every time I think of that, I think of Sutton Foster, y'all. Mm. Bring it in balance. Relieve it. Bring it in positive. Bring it in positive. And then, you know, once you're able to release from the negative energies, any negative attachments, any negative energies around you, then you're backing it up with the saints, the high priestess here. Faith and trust. Doesn't she kind of look like Mother Mary if Mother Mary had dyed blue hair? <laughs> faith and trust, y'all. It all comes down to faith and trust. Maybe just a different way of looking at Halloween. A different way of looking at Halloween. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the tower in reverse. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of the dark. All Hallows Eve. The tower in reverse. A lot of you time to start working and focusing on things that uh, uh, weren't to your benefit. Just switch it up a little bit. Put your manifestation around it, right? It ain't going to hurt you to believe. It ain't going to hurt you to believe. Use it as a time to end. Because the Wrap It Up series, it's like things need to end. It's time for certain uh, energies to be removed from you. It's time for certain thought patterns to be removed from you. It's time for you to take on a different approach. To bring in good, abundance, happy working relationships. With divine protection. With divine protection. The Will of Fortune, Judgment, the High Priestess, and the Two of Cups. Divinely guided, protected. All Saints Day, 111. <laughs> I love that energy, you guys. It's been such a beautiful energy reading today. I thank you so much for your all's energy because I'm feeling this beautiful energy. The tower in reverse and eight of wands in reverse. Letting letting burdens go. This is uh, uh, not allowing anything to loom over. Letting letting yourself breathe. Trusting that eight of wands in reverse. Trusting the guidance that you get. Trusting the energy that you feel. Trusting. Trusting. Like I said, this is either your energy or it's not. This is your thought belief or it's not. Take it if it resonates. Maybe something to think about as you're going about. Use it to end the toxic and bring in the good with divine protection. One, one, one. All them saints. New beginnings with the protection of above. The protection of God. Hmm. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Thank you, collective. You all have a happy Halloween.